puppy break with me. Woo! Woo! Hi guys! How you doing? I'm just kidding. Any Wendy Williams fans out there? So today I am here with my top five series collaboration with my best friend Samantha. You guys are probably like familiar with this whole spiel, but uh, we do a video every Thursday where we share our top five favorite blanks. So we've done quite a few now. I would say, okay, quite a few. I don't know how many, but we've done quite a few. And when it came down to like face products, concealer, powder, primer, all that stuff, it was like we were talking about it. And it was such a debate because you can't have five favorite primers or five favorite foundations or five favorite powders. Like that's too much. It's not like eyeshadow or lipsticks where there's so many different colors. So I was like, Sam, what are we going to do? So we were kind of just talking, throwing ideas back and forth. And I was like, what if we just do a video where we smush all our face products together? There's no minimum number. There's not like five or 10 or whatever. We're just gonna gather our products that we have on hand that we really, really enjoy using. So that's what we're doing today, basically. We just smushed all our face products together. And this is probably gonna be the most interesting video of all of the ones that we filmed together because I have normal skin. Uh, I have panda eyes, dark circles, and Sam has oily skin. She is uh, cool undertones, which I mean oily skin, very fair and cool undertones. That can be kind of tricky to find face products. I know Sam has a hard time finding her right color. Sometimes the lightest color in the ranges aren't light enough for her. So I think her video is going to be super interesting for those of you fair maidens that want to see what works for her and her oily skin. And for me, I mean, I'm rhino butt skin. We've said it here before, rhino butt skin. Nothing happens to it. I get a breakout once a month and you know what time of the month I'm talking about. But other than that, I mean, panda eyes. I mean, I really can't complain. I am very, very fortunate. So uh, if you want to see what my top, I don't even know how many are here, maybe like 10 products are, then I just keep listening to me because I'm not going to cut this out. I'm just going to keep going. So my two favorite primers. Um, the drugstore is very new to primers right now, so I haven't found one that I'm like, oh my god, I will marry you and have your children. So my two favorite primers at the moment or that I could say I would use forever and ever and ever because they give me really great results are the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. This is like the lavender one. And then the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer with SPF. So these are two, this one's really expensive, in case you're wondering, but it's really good. And then this is the Smashbox one. So when I just wanna cover my pores, and I have pores in this area and the sides of my nose, I just use this one. When I want that flawless finish, like almost, uh, like, oh, what did they do to her face? It's just perfect. Then I use this one. And this one has SPF too, which is awesome. My moisturizer already has sun protection, but if I can add another layer of sun protection, why not? So I really like these two. This one is a little expensive, but they do have a really miniature size for a really, not affordable, but cheaper price. So you might want to check that one out first or go to Sephora and they give you really generous samples. This one's pretty, I mean, it's not that expensive. And they also sell a travel size for like $15, which again, will last you forever because this isn't one of those primers that you put all over your face, only where you have the crater pores. You know the crater pores, the ones that I have here and on the sides of my nose? Really good for that. Some people complain that it balls up on their face. This is a very finicky primer. Depending on your um, moisturizer, it will not vibe. So you wanna make sure that you use an oil-free moisturizer. So when you have an oil-free primer, you want an oil-free moisturizer. When you have an oil-free foundation, you want an oil-free moisturizer and oil-free primer. You know what I mean? You always wanna keep it within the family or they'll reject each other. It's like oil and water. It's it happens. So try it out. Maybe get a sample of that too, see if it works out. Then let's talk about combating panda eyes. What do I use for my panda eyes? I have two concealers that I love to use because they have a really beautiful salmon shade and they hide my panda eyes like a dream. The first one is the Sonia Kashuk, um, I think this is Hidden Agenda. The Hidden, Hidden Agenda, why am I having trouble with that? Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette from Target, and the other one is the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. 
So I love that Tarte is using the proper terminology for this because this is a corrector, it's not a concealer. I use it in the shade Light Medium and it just looks like this. It's a salmon shade, so it's like an orange colored concealer and I just take the littlest bit on a synthetic brush, the littlest bit, I mean I just barely go doop in there and I put it right in this area right here and that's it. And then I go in with highlighting um, concealer. This one is really, really, really creamy, so it's perfect for fall and winter. I say if you can, if you can have a different option, use a different one for spring and summer when your skin tends to perspire more or your oils, you know, tend to be more active on your skin. It's very, very creamy. And then the other one, the one from Sonia Kashuk, I like this one because it really it's kind of dirty, I'm sorry. It, it um, changes with me with the season, so there are three different colors and a powder. I don't use a powder at all. It's a little, uh, I don't know, it's not ne necessary really. I wish there was another concealer shade in there instead of the palette, instead of the powder, but I'm sure some of you will love it because it's kind of like an all-in-one palette. You have like a yellow one here, you have a skin tone one here, and then you have your salmon shade. So it has all your highlighters in here at once. So what I like to do is I like to mix these two when I don't wanna do a full on makeup look and I just want to conceal and correct at the same time, not highlight, just conceal and correct. I mix these two together and I apply it in this area and it's like my perfect shade. When I wanna go full on makeup, then I'll use this as a corrector and then I'll use something else as a highlighter. So it's one of those really friendly palettes that has like everything in here. I don't know if this would really work if you have cool undertones because you could see it has that really, really yellow concealer perfect for those of you that have warm to neutral undertones. It's such a beautiful color. I just call the concealer beautiful, but you know, we kind of have a love affair with concealers here at Panda Headquarters. And then highlighting concealers, oh, you need these. You need one or the other. This is the um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. These are new. It has that flat, double-sided, like doe foot applicator, like a paddle almost. This reminds me so much of MAC, um, oh gosh, long, Pro Longwear. MAC Pro Longwear, is that the name? The one in the glass tube? It, the formula is almost exactly the same, except instead of a pump, it comes with like a paddle brush. But the selection of these concealers is awful. It's either too, too light or too dark. So you kind of have to have that perfect skin tone to be able to find one that works for you. This is in the shade Light Warm, and it's really bright on my skin. I mean, it's like paper color, but it's really great for highlighting. I love the finish, and I love how it dries on the skin. You don't have to set it if you don't want to. It just completely dries and sets all on its own without the need of powder. And then the last concealer that I use for highlighting that I really love is from the drugstore, and this is the Dream Lumi from Maybelline. It's like a pen, like a click pen, and I get it in the color Ivory. They do have Radiance, and they have other colors that are meant for highlighting, but I just like to get the lighter shade and use it as brightening, you know, to, to brighten my face. And I love that it has that little brush because I could do, you know, the center of my nose, the cupid's bow, my chin. I like to do little curves around my mouth, like where I smile. I like to add concealer there, like a brighter concealer, just to brighten and emphasize that, that part of my face or to do the backwards triangle. So I'll take a correcting concealer or like this one, and I will correct the innermost corner of my panda eyes, and then I'll take this one and do the triangle right below it when I'm going for a full-on look. Otherwise, I will just, like I said, mix two of these colors and just pat it in my under eye to just hide like that darkness from my panda eyes. Have you guys, how many, we should do like a game where every time I say panda, you, you drink your coffee. We gotta keep it PG here, okay? Now let's move on to foundations. And when I was talking to Sam about this part, I was like, there's no way people have like five favorite foundations. Like how is that even possible? Foundations, I mean, you find one or two that make you really happy and you stick with them. But when I was gathering my items, I was like, I really cannot narrow this down. Like I can't because a new one just came into my life. So I just thought, 
I would be doing you guys a disservice if I didn't share with you guys my favorites. So the first one is from the drugstore, and this is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. I actually bought this strictly for review purposes on my channel when it just came out, and it blew my socks off. It is super liquidy. The applicator is so weird. It's a messy, messy bottle, but the product is awesome. It is so thin, but it gives you the best, most natural looking face. It's not heavy duty full coverage, so if you have a lot of like hyperpigmentation, sunspots, or anything that you really wanna cover, you can build it up to medium coverage, I would say, maybe even full if you put powder on top, but it's just one of those products with sunscreen that gives you almost that like youthful face, you know, healthy, useful, youthful face, natural, fresh looking, and it's from the drugstore. It's awesome. I'm in the color Classic Ivory or number 20. Another product that you've heard me talk about, I'm not even gonna go into detail about, is the Naked Skin from Urban Decay. This is my holy grail of holy grails of holy grails of all life. My favorite foundation of all time. It's medium to full coverage. It gives you that like demi matte finish. It covers what it needs to cover, but it still makes you look flawless. I love that it's demi matte because it doesn't give you that really dry looking, almost hard matte face or finish. Uh, it's just, it's beautiful. And in this one, I'm in the color 3.0. I would say this is good for oily skin and dry skin because it's not one of those really matte or really dewy foundations. You know, it's like happy medium. So if you were, if you had dry skin, you wouldn't need to set it with the powder. If you have oily skin, set it with the powder. You know, and you get that like flawless finish. The Naked Skin Powder Foundation on top of this with a really light hand gives you that like super porcelain perfection perfect face. Then I have to mention my Estee Lauder double wear. I don't need double wear. You know, I don't have like problematic skin like I told you guys, but if you want to put on a foundation that's going to hide your deepest, darkest, most blackest thought in your soul, you use this foundation. It is just heavy duty. It's absolutely heavy duty, but it's not uncomfortable, which is such a major plus. You don't want a foundation that is uncomfortable when it's gonna be a full coverage. That's the worst combination. And historically, full coverage foundations, like heavy duty full coverage foundations, are heavy. You could feel you're wearing them and they're uncomfortable. This one is not, I love it. With a damp beauty blender, perfect face, perfect. And this pump is, I believe, I need to sneeze. <laughs> I, I don't know why I need to sneeze right now. I feel like I'm getting sick. You guys, I think I'm getting sick. By the time you see this video, I'll probably be sick. This pump, I believe, is from MAC. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's a MAC pump, but it works perfectly and it has this little cover, so if you travel, you can cover it up and it's not gonna spill. You hear my voice? I'm definitely getting sick. And then the newest addition to my top five to my top favorite products is definitely the Stila Perfectly Poreless Putty Perfector. I'm always going to have to read that name. Always, because I'm never gonna learn that. Let's just call it the P4. What's that P4? This is a putty foundation. Thank you, Stila, for being innovative. It's almost like a cream foundation, but it's really not, because with the cream, you could stick your finger in it and it you know, moves apart. This is like a Play-Doh. It's a putty and you pick up just the littlest bit of product and apply it to your face. You could layer it on. I use this product. I'm wearing it today. I just filmed a review on it in case you guys are interested. I'm wearing this product today with no primer, no concealer, and no powder. Just the putty and look at my skin. Right? Like, do I need to explain anything else? I don't, right? I don't. I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna say, look, look at this. I would be a fool not to include this in my favorites. I wish it wasn't so expensive for the amount of product you're getting. It's $39 for one third of an ounce. And usually you get one ounce in foundation products. So I'm a little about that. But I don't know, I mean, this drugstore foundation, the Dream Wonder is only 0.67, so half an ounce. I don't know. Maybe it's a new foundation thing. And then the last product that I'm gonna mention, I only have one of, and I only wanted to mention this one. 
because this is the only powder you will need for the rest of your life ever. This is the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. Don't judge me, it's a little beat up. This powder, not the pressed, the pressed is worthless. Get the loose version, I promise you it's not messy. Oh, well you got as an under eye setting powder, as a face setting powder, as whatever type of powder you need for your face, it is amazing. It, it literally reflects light. So if you have any imperfections, like fine lines, lines of expression, like I like to call wrinkles, it will literally bounce light off your face and you won't see your, your flaws. They're not flaws, they're what gives us character. So it does, it reflects light off your skin, it's great for photography, it's perfect for setting your under eye, like I literally put like a tablespoon of powder in my under eye. I love this product. I wish I was wearing it today because I, I, I could say, look, I'm wearing it today, but I'm not. I'm just wearing this. I'm just wearing this. But it is, it's brilliant. I use my Wayne Goss number two brush. I use my Wayne Goss number two brush. This is the brush that I was telling you guys about that's like licking, it's like when puppy dogs lick your face. That's exactly what it feels like. It is so... This is how much product I use, look. Do you see that? I love this powder, oh. I could just rub this on my face forever. It's a great pro. it's a great powder. Great setting powder. I really hope you guys enjoyed all of these suggestions. These are my humble suggestions for you if you have normal skin. These will probably work if you have dry skin or oily skin, but of course, like you're familiar with your skin type, you will need to have you know, you will need to do some tweaking here or there to make them work or prolong the use of these products depending on your skin tone. But I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave Sam's channel and video linked in the description box below in case you guys are interested uh, in hearing her suggestions for cool undertones, oily skin, and very fair complected. So you might find some helpful suggestions on her channel. Like always, I will list and link all of these products mentioned in the description box below. So check there if you have any questions regarding these products. And I think that's it guys. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.